All right. One thing people are also loving, a huge Netflix special that's taking place. It's a legal case that's really captivated the minds of people worldwide. For years, convicted con artist Anna Delvi Sorokin actually masqueraded as a wealthy German heiress to defraud financial institutions and even New York socialites. And now her story is being depicted in the Netflix series Inventing Anna. Now, she has been in federal custody for overstaying her visa after her release from prison, but now there are even more questions on whether she's still in ICE custody or been deported. For the latest details, here's Tom Negevin. She's been jailed in New York and New Jersey, a long way from the life of privileged Russian immigrant Anna Sorokin enjoyed in Manhattan while claiming to be a German heiress called Anna Delvey. Convicted in 2019, the subject of a Netflix series played by Julia Garner, who saw her as likable. That's why people get conned in the first place, in general. You know, it's very scary. Sorokin has documented her adventures, even her legal troubles on Instagram. And while most Americans know who she is, they're still surprised by her long list of crimes. First degree attempted grand larceny, second and third degree grand larceny, theft of services, swindling New Yorkers out of more than $200,000, defrauding banks, skipping out on hotel bills, even stealing a private jet. She served four years, which might be the end of it, except she's a German citizen, jailed tonight in upstate New York for overstaying her visa. In a statement to News Nation, Immigration and Customs Enforcement says in November 2021, the Board of Immigration Appeals granted Sorokin's emergency stay request. She remains in ICE custody, pending removal. But she's not going quietly, recently complaining on a podcast about the press she's been getting. Some of it from an ex-pal, Rachel Deloche Williams, who wrote a book, allegedly conned out of $62,000. And it's just like so fake of her to just say like, oh, giving platform to a con. Uh, pay attention, she's probably penning an essay right now. And that was Tom Negevin reporting. Now, she, her case has actually drawn worldwide attention after the 2018 New York Magazine article and now the Netflix show on top of that. So let's talk to Star about this and myself. We're going to do this real quick. Star, I have not had a chance to see it. I saw the yes. 2020 special, but I have not seen it. You've seen it. Yes. And people have been buzzing. All my friends are like, oh, my gosh, yes. you have to watch it because <laughs> can you believe mm -hmm. she did something like this? I cannot believe it. Honestly, Sharon, my mouth was to the floor. I don't want to spoil it for you, but it was actually a must to see. I was surprised to see that her friend put that card down. I believe they went to Morocco and did some vacationing and she just she just you know left her girl there so it's a it's a must watch it will definitely have you if not in tears in absolute disbelief